Thank you everybody for coming today. Uh, my name is Jeremy Levy. I'll be, I'm the tech lead at Google for the Kubeflow team and I'll be presenting on behalf of Jay Smith, my colleague who couldn't be, be, be here today. So I'll be talking about how Kubeflow is enabling CI CD pipelines for machine learning. Um, and so today I'll be talking about two different tools. So one of those is Kubeflow and the other is going to be Argo CD. Um, so briefly, Kubeflow is a Kubernetes native platform for machine learning. So our mission is to make it easy to, for everyone to develop, deploy, and manage portable distributed ML on Kubernetes. Um, and then the second one is Argo CD. So Argo CD is a tool that enables um, GitOps for Kubernetes, and it's basically a, a declarative continuous delivery system for Kubernetes. So this, this slide basically illustrates one of the core problems that we're trying to solve with Kubeflow. So right now, machine learning on uh, Kubernetes is very difficult. And the reason that it's difficult is because if you're trying to set up Kubernetes to do machine learning, you end up having to get to uh, build the platform yourself by cobbling together different services and components. So there's basically um, three different component types of components that you have to combine. So the first one is the ML specific components. So these could be applications like Jupyter that enable data scientists. They could also be some of the applications we're developing as part of Kubeflow. So as part of Kubeflow, we have custom controllers for doing things like running distributed training on Kubernetes. Um, the next level of components and services you have is would be um, Kubernetes specific um, components. So these might be networking components. So a lot of the applications you're deploying as part of your um, machine learning platform are web apps. For example, you have TensorBoard, which is a web application that makes it easier to monitor the performance of your uh, models and see how they're doing as you train them. Um, so if you want to connect to this web app, you need to set up networking. So you might need a reverse proxy or you might need to set up ingress. You might also, as the previous talk mentioned, need to set up and install the GPU drivers so that you can properly configure your cluster to use accelerators. And then finally, you have the uh, cluster infrastructure level bits, like actually setting up your cluster or provisioning storage. So we're solving this with a two-step process. Um, so we basically have a command line tool called KF Cuddle. And this is um, the way this process works is we generate a whole bunch of configurations in the first step, which we call the generate phase. And then in the second phase, we apply those configs to your Kubernetes cluster to actually declare, uh, set up that infrastructure. And the reason that we have this uh, two-step process is because this enables us to uh, switch to a GitOps type workflow. So with a GitOps type workflow, what you do is after you generate the configs, instead of applying them directly, you push them to a Git repo. Um, and then you can use a tool like Argo CD or a tool like Reflux, which can actually take those configs in your Git repo and then automatically synchronize them to your, um, your Kubernetes cluster and so the reason that we call the, this pattern is called GitOps, and the reason it's called GitOps is because you can basically operate your infrastructure just by pull request. Because if you want to make a change, you just change the, the config file, push it to your Git repo, and then the tools will take care of automatically syncing that change to your infrastructure. Um, so this is what it looks like with Kubeflow. So these are the commands with KF Cuddle to set up your infrastructure. So the first step, like I said, is you run the generate command to generate your manifests. You then push them using the JIT command line tool to your Git repo. The next step would be to actually install Argo CD. And all these, these commands are doing is basically deploying the Argo CD daemon in your cluster. And then we're configuring the Argo uh, configuration um, to set up an app and pointing that app at our repo where we've defined our Kubernetes, our Kubeflow cluster. Um, if you then looked at the UI for Argo, um, the CD, you would see this icon indicating your application and providing information about your configuration, like the Git repo that you're actually uh, monitoring. And then after a while, you would see it actually sync all the manifests in your cluster. And now if you want to push a change, uh, make a change to your cluster, you can just change the manifest. So in this case, we've changed the configuration from one of the operators and if you look in the Argo UI, you can see this red uh, d d uh, box here that shows you that your cluster is no longer in sync. And then you could use Argo CD to automatically sync those changes to your cluster. Um, so for more info, you can look at the Kubeflow docs um, or, and kubeflow.org. You can also look at the Argo CD docs to learn more about Argo. And I just want to say a thank you to the Argo team at Intuit that helped us put this together. Thank you very much.